Hey guys, this is Eva from Autel's Tech Support. Welcome back to another Autel Tech Tip video. Today we'll go over pairing the HT200 or AP200, updating the firmware, and scanning the vehicle. Before we start, you might want to check your internet or cellular connection. We recommend doing this over cellular data. If not, then a very strong and stable Wi-Fi connection. If your router is far away from the vehicle and you are outside, please try to use cellular data. Next, I like to put my phone on do not disturb mode, so this way no calls or text messages will interrupt any functions we are trying to perform on the vehicle. Now let's select the HT200 or AP200 app on the phone. I already have my free software downloaded for my vehicle, but to purchase additional software or download your free one, please select the plus sign on the bottom. We have already plugged the device into the vehicle with the green light showing power but there is a red X on the VCI image on the top right corner indicating it is not connected. We will now have to go into our Bluetooth settings on the phone, power off the Bluetooth, wait a few seconds, then turn it back on. You should now see your device show up. Select it to connect. If any messages appear asking it to connect, always select allow. If you look on the top right corner again, there should be a green check mark indicating the tool is now connected. You should also see a blue light on the device itself. Now let's see if this needs an update. Select me on the bottom right corner. Select VCI manager. You might have to sign in again with your Autel ID. Now select detect firmware. It will ask you to select the device which we know is already connected. So it says there are no updates available, but once we connect it to the car, that is when it will pull up an update for us. Select Update. Please note the update could take a few minutes. As long as you see it working, please allow the process to complete. Do not close the menu or try to use your phone during this process. Once the update is complete, we can enter Diagnostics. You can choose Automatic Selection, and the tool will read the VIN and decode it for newer vehicles. However, for this video, I will show you how to manually select your vehicle if that option is not available for your car. Select the region the vehicle is currently in. For me, it is USA. This vehicle is a IS300. The model year is 2016. Just confirm the vehicle profile once you get to this page. The scan will begin. Once it is completed, you can then erase any codes or access each module individually. For this car, since we do not have any codes, I will save the scan, which can then be printed or emailed. To save, select Save as PDF, write the name of the file, and now save it. If you select the folder on the top right corner, you will see your saved files, which also can be found by going into the main home screen of the app and selecting me on the bottom right corner and then selecting repair reports. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always contact our tech support at 855-288-3587. Thank you for choosing Autel. Have a great day.